You cannot get into the Akashic record. Watch this. I told you I can get in there. Bam! Don't sleep on my skills. Whatever. Spiritual CCTV all. Oh. You are now entering the Divine Headquarters. Aloha fam, it's your big bro Joey. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm going to welcome back to the channel my OGs. Thank y'all for your continued love and support. And I want to welcome to the channel any new viewers. So okay, I want to thank everybody who has been uh, liking the videos, who's been subscribing to the channel, and who's also been commenting as well. And the super chat and the uh, cash apps as well. Thank you guys so much. Go ahead and clear that energy out before we get started here. <clears throat> okay, y'all. Yeah, this reading is all about karma. There's some important karma that is taking place right now for uh, somebody who has come up against or people, a group of people or an individual, whatever it is, who's come up against some... Um, those of us in the collective says you will witness their karma okay on the back of this deck on the back of the deck we have mars retrograde and it says impulsive rage of anger hostility uh major blowouts fights and violence i feel like this person directed this individual directed a lot of anger towards you okay a lot of anger, to anger towards people in the collective, okay? For whatever reason, but we're gonna delve more so into it. But this is the time where I'm getting, you are either going to see their karma playing out, or you're going to hear about it, or you're going to spiritually see it, okay? I'm gonna feel it. There's gonna be a shift in energy that's what I'm, I just got a confirmation in my ear. There's going to be a shift in energy that is taking place, okay, within the uh, collective and you will be seeing, okay, this energy changing. I feel like a lot of heavy energy that's been, that's been um, centered towards or directed towards people. You may have had this weird energy that you've been dealing with, that you've been uh, battling for some people as well. We got miracle energy here. We got miracle energy here. The angel of alchemy. Your situation is transforming. Okay, so expect a miraculous turnaround of events or turnaround of energy that is happening. Somebody here, you were you were either getting some interference with your dreams or you were seeing things in your dreams that was going on behind the scenes. Okay, for somebody here, that's not gonna be for everybody. No, it was not a part of your imagination. It was exactly real. You dreamt of a person recently and that person has been sending you negative energy. Okay. I'm getting jealousy. Like this car right here is, 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 is saying rage, envy. I'm getting a lot of jealousy. A lot of people that are not liking you standing up for standing up for yourself. Okay. We got the three fates. What comes around? This is also confirmation of this karma that is taking place here okay and then we have faceless ghosts and the haunted girl ghost people i feel like you felt a presence around you okay you felt this presence around you you may have felt like somebody was low-key spiritually or energetically stalking you at one point in time okay I'm getting these people were all up in your business, but they were because it's showing up as ghost people. They were doing it behind the scenes. They were not doing it to where you could see it. And they were not, of course, not letting you know that it was being done. This was something that was being done behind the scenes, but now it's coming out. And the way you're going to find out is about the way you're going to find out who this is. Is because of the events that are going to be taking place in these people's lives. Because they, they may be showing up. Some of you guys, you may see certain karma hitting these people. Okay. In your, in, in your dream state. Okay. Some of you guys, you will see, these people will reveal themselves because they will be triggered. Okay. 
Pay attention to the comment section as well. You may see some people there who are triggered as well. A lot of the times they can't help themselves and they, they have to say something because they feel offended, right? We don't, we never call out names. We never do anything like that because a lot of these people that we, we don't even know that they've been doing this. We don't even know these people, but they will tell on themselves one way or another. Either their energy is going to give them up, okay? Or either they're going to run their mouth, their big mouths and give themselves up, okay? But overall, if it's somebody who's staying extra quiet, you, you will know about something bad happening to these people. Because whatever... Whatever evil eye, I'm getting evil eye energy here too. And also um, spell work to make specific things take place to you. Whatever they sent towards you, that is what they're going to receive in, in return. Okay. I'm hearing that's just a law of nature. That's just one of the spiritual laws of nature. You feel me? What comes around goes back around. You feel me? What goes around comes back around. And this is now the time for that karma to come back. A lot of you guys are getting. I'm hearing a different form of karma. A lot of y'all are experiencing a different form of karma and that karma is miracles happening in your life. Some something that looks like a miracle or even it presents as a miracle. OK, we got carnivorous flower fairy attempting offer has a high price. I feel like somebody, and it says Fairy of the Highlands, it's time to be brave. And also, Wing Seer, you see clearly, clairvoyance. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, somebody here, you, you're going to get a vision of whoever this hidden enemy was or is, okay? I feel like they thought this tempting offer here. This is like Venus flytrap energy. Something looks like, oh, it's, it's just harmless. I can just do this. I'll do it in this harm. Nothing is going to happen back to me. But that same energy that they're playing with is snapping back at them or, 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 or boomeranging back at whoever this is who've been who's been doing this. Some of these people were triggered because you called them out on their BS. OK. You're, you aren't wasting time or you're not wasting time with people and you're calling people out on the BS and, and some of these people can't help it. They can't take it. It's too much for them. They get triggered. These are those people who uh, when you give them a dose of their own medicine or when you put your foot down and we you stand up for yourself, they tell you, oh, you're, you're being sensitive. How are you being sensitive? Don't never let anybody gaslight you into thinking that you're being too sensitive when you're standing up for yourself. When you know somebody's doing something wrong, okay, to you, when you know somebody is being unfair to you, never let a person guilt trip you out of standing up for yourself. I always say that, you know what I mean? Never let them guilt trip you. We got the chosen ones are returning, shine more. So this is your time to shine, okay? I'm getting the energy is returning. I'm, I'm here for somebody, the old energy is returning. Uh, let yourself come out of your shell. Let your light shine. You feel me? You guys are um, bringing in divine counterparts. So you may be seeing also, which may show up as miracles in your life as well. You may be seeing divine counterpart unions, which are soulmates, uh, people you're equally yoked with. This could be uh, romantic. It could be platonic. It could be familial. Okay. But you're coming back into some sort of uh, power that you may have felt like you were not in, okay? It is time to be brave, what this card is saying. It is time for you to stand up for yourself. It is time for you to not be afraid, to not be scared to, uh, that was confirmation, to not be scared to speak your mind, okay? I'm hearing also to free your mind. Some of you guys may have felt like you've been doing this alone with solitude number seven, but that's a part of your, your spiritual path. That is a part of your path to spiritual growth, okay? You may have needed that time alone so that you can see things clearly. What else we got on these written cards before I switch decks? Stability and foundation. They were messing or attempting, that was confirmation, they were attempting to mess with your stability and foundation here. 
They wanted you to be out of control. It says do nothing until you know more about the situation. So with that, for somebody here, I'm getting when you hear things, right? When you start understanding what is taking place behind the scenes, don't jump the gun and start attacking people all willy nilly. You feel me? Because there's a certain karma that's already in effect that's already playing out to whoever this is so i'm hearing don't get in the way okay i'm hearing do not get in the way so it says do nothing until you know more about the situation you may be confused about a person if you don't have all i'm getting these are people i'm getting if you hear about this energy and then you start saying oh well who is this person let me find out who they are don't 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 go out accusing people you feel me because for whoever this is i'm hearing for whatever for whatever it's worth you will know who is who you will know um who this person is or who these people are okay it will come to you you're not gonna have to go out doing anything drastic doing anything crazy you feel me by all means continue with your protection prayers uh protection spells if that's what you do continue with your protection rituals whatever it is that you do continue with that yes but i'm hearing maintain your composure somebody here you might be very very upset when you find out who this is for you that might not resonate for everybody but you may be very very upset and this is not a time also when we are witnessing people's karma okay and like I always say, vibe with your tribe because over here we don't laugh at people's karma, right? If it comes up in a reading, we will explore it, we will address it, we will read it, you feel me? But if, uh, like I said, vibe with your tribe because I know somebody out there may be, oh my God, we shouldn't be worried about people's karma. Da -da -da -da. Vibe with your tribe. If you automatically thought something negative by me doing this reading, this is not the place for you. Just keep it moving, okay? Quality over quantity, all right? And I don't want, I don't like that kind of energy anyways, you feel me? Now let's go, do nothing more. Do nothing until you know more about the situation. Be gentle on yourself and others. What else we got here? Unset boundaries. I feel like this person wanted you to have boundaries that were unset. They wanted you to have boundaries uh, look at this. You can lead a horse to water. Yeah, a lot of us are realizing that we can give people information, but if they fight you tooth and nail, then they ain't never going to really uh, take what you're saying. So just take them. Yeah, because they might be ignoring intuition. Yeah, some of y'all may, may be dealing with people also that are ignoring their intuition and letting their ego get the best of them. Whoever these people are, they may have been letting their ego get the best of them by saying, well, Oh, I'm getting some of them may have already just had a just had a deep seated issue with you or some of them. It might not have been deep seated. It might have just been just I don't like you, period. You feel me? So I don't like you. Therefore, I am going to attack you. I am going to to hate on you. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm getting, I don't like you, so therefore I am going to to hate on you. I'm going to have an issue with you. You feel me? Lost investment. We got here. So somebody may have invested in some work against you. Okay. Invested in energy against you, but that energy is lost. They didn't get the, they didn't reap the benefits that they thought they was going to reap by coming up against you. They thought that they were going to cast whatever spells they were going to cast. They thought they were going to set whatever booby traps that they set and they thought that it was going to be is going to yield results but it did not yield any results okay this person may have had an i'm hearing an empty victory or an early celebration okay they celebrated too soon is what i just heard okay because the energy is cleansing you're cleansing and clearing this energy out of your life okay and this we have missed opportunity whatever they planned for you it didn't connect it's like somebody fighting somebody and they punch in the air and they're not connecting with the person. They swing in and they miss it. 
So I'm getting somebody had a lot of anger with them, especially when I got that swing. And I felt like somebody was very, very frustrated at, at uh, damn, somebody was very, very frustrated here. If somebody let their anger get the best of them, they let their anger write them a check that their ass couldn't cash. You feel me? This person let their anger get them in deep. That's confirmation. They let their anger get them into trouble. Release out of greed. I feel like this person is very, very greedy. There may have been some competition. This person will be in despair. They're already in some sort of despair. They wanted you in despair. Okay. They wanted you to have physical issues. They wanted you to have health related issues and that is going to reverberate that's going to bounce back onto this person it is what it is my thing is when you direct energy towards people who've done nothing to you when you do spell work on people who've done nothing to you you gotta know that our spiritual laws into play so if you feel like you are well versed in spell work you should already know within your head that whatever you send out is going to come back to you so if you are attacking people who are innocent it's going to come back to you. You cannot get mad at the other person. It says, distance yourself from unsupportive people. Yeah, you guys may have been distance, distancing yourself from these types of people. Our spirit is telling you to continue distancing yourself from people who are unsupportive. Like, they all, all they do is ask you for stuff. All they do is ask you, can you help them this? Can you do this? Can you give me that? Let me this. Let me that. And you can't go to them for nothing. That's not a, that's not a, a good uh, deal for you, right? Everybody in, within the within the group ain't, ain't benefiting. All right, what we got here? What is this? Closed off and blocked. Yeah, your energy. This person wanted. Yeah. Wow. I just saw pride, pride, and then I saw fall here. So something is taking place this fall, or something is going to hit. Something is going to hit somebody by the fall. Okay. And then I did see pride. Where is that? See, look. I'm hearing pride before the fall. That's why this 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 is somebody who was celebrating. They was oh I did this to her, I did this to him. Oh I hit him with a da 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 da. I hit him with a oh I'm the big bad wolf. You feel me? I'm the wicked witch. I'm the biggest bad wicked wicked witch of the West. I felt this person was very very confident at what they were doing. They're very very ignorant at what they were doing. They wanted to affect your, your your luck and success. Somebody here saw you as very, very lucky and successful. Somebody saw you displaying some sort of talents of yours. You got, you very, very, somebody here, you very, very talented. That might not resonate for everybody. Y'all know this is a general message, so take only what apply and let the rest fly. Somebody here is very, very talented. Somebody here, regardless of what you're going through, you enjoy your life, you have fun. You have a strong divine connection. They're very, very good with your words. Okay. Somebody here is very, very good with the words. Um, you may have a lot of friends around you. Or you may have a lot of soul tribe or spirit, spirit team. Something is heavily, heavy around you. You have a lot of support around you. And I feel like energetically, these people are feeling are they felt jealous because of that. They felt jealous of your faith. They felt jealous of your aura, your spirit. I feel like somebody here also did not like when you smiled, did not like when you laughed. They did not want to see you happy. They did not want to hear you say that something good was happening to you. They did not want you to be spiritually awakened. They did not want you. Oh, some of you guys may have been studying um, different modalities in metaphysics. They did not want you to to expand your knowledge when it comes to metaphysics. They did not want you to grow, personally grow. This person felt like they had the they had the right or that they would be able to attack you and block you, uh, bl block your expansion, block your abundance, okay? Without having any consequences. The fall time, okay? It says clearly establishing rules, clearly established rules, responsibility and roles and at the start not afterwards i feel like for some of some of us in the collective we might not have been clear about our stance on the situation okay with an individual 
we may have been a bit too nice to a, a specific person or we may have been too welcoming to a specific person and that's normal to happen that could happen to everybody anybody right but at the same time it's not to say that you uh just because just because you may have given somebody this confirmation i just got in my ear what was that message just because you've given somebody a little leeway or whatever and you or you gave them an opportunity to get to know you or to approach you but it was a wrong thing to do okay they turned out to be a bad apple it doesn't mean that it's you know that you should beat yourself up over it right we got somebody that's going live okay we got positive changes here that are on the way for you. I'm hearing in the person who was going live, they put a lot, they put like seven or eight laughing emojis. So I feel like in the spiritual realms, I see hear people laughing. I see people laughing, right? Laughing at this person by them being under the delusion that they were going to come in and do you something and they were going to get away with it. This person may have been in communication with, we have baneful spirits here. We have, uh, what I'm getting, I'm getting demonic spirits who may have, uh, misled this individual may have put a battery in their back and may have set them up in the pro in the process. This person may have been talking to in tranquil spirits, speak in communication with them as well. And they were led, uh, I'm hearing led astray. Whoever, whatever they was dealing with, it was like, yo, we don't owe, we don't wait, we don't owe any loyalty to you and we're going to show you. We're going, <laughs> I'm hearing, we don't owe any loyalty to you and we're going to show you just that. Okay. We got dangling carrots in front, teasing, tempting tricks. Yeah. Wow. This, whoever these people, this person was, some of y'all, it, it was a coven, a group of people with the three here, the three fates. Some of you got three here on this card as well. One, two, three, four right there. But I felt like it may have been a group of people or somebody enlisting the help of other people as well. Or it could have been a sole practitioner or just somebody on their own, just being a, just being a, a weirdo you feel me but i feel like whatever entities that they were working with whatever demons or demon demonic forces that they were working with actually promised them something that they never uh intended on granting this person they they promised this person a wish that they never intended on granting it was all a trick these spirits we're actually torturing this person or they will be torturing this person this person may also be start to hear start hearing vo a lot of voices i'm getting some sort of mental disturbance this person may start having i'm hearing it was all a game it was all a trick they let their anger get the best of them that's what that's what happened they let their anger get them uh to reacting in ways that they should not have reacted in okay or acted in focus on finances this person may have been focused on your finances and that is they're gonna they're gonna I hear, i'm hearing a nose dive their finances unfortunately are going is going to take a nose dive their stability and their foundation is getting ready to be rocked or it is already being rocked okay do you believe in magic here we have somebody who we got somebody who may not have fully believed in magic. And what I mean by may not fully believe in magic, they only learned or they only paid attention to the things that they could do to people. And that is without, like I said before, that is without adhering to the spiritual laws that said what goes around is going to come right back around to you. It's going to boomerang back to you. So don't do anything to somebody else that you don't want done to you because it's going to happen. I'm hearing keep that same energy. Okay. Keep that same energy. We have rekindled emotions. Okay. And monkey wrench in the program. All right. I feel like this person 
for some of you guys, this was somebody at one point in time, they may have had a sort of, uh, I was going to say infatuation, but what came to me was fascination with you. Okay. I felt like somebody here was shut out or felt shut out. Balance is being restored in the universe. There will be opposition. Okay. So the opposition that I'm getting is coming for these people. Okay. Whoever this is and what they've been trying to do. I feel like this is also, I feel like some of us were putting these people's on these people's past so that we could teach them a lesson so that they could have, they, they, when, when they saw us, okay, they had a choice whether or not to do what they were thinking of doing or to do the right thing. And they chose the wrong thing. So they will have, there's repercussions to that. The person causing you negativity is a fire sign. This person who, this person is a fire sign who may have been causing you this negativity. What else we got here? causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions and mood swings. So this person wanted you to have issues with your mood swings as well. I just saw moods. Pisces, somebody could be a Pisces. That's what I saw. You could have Pisces in your chart or just that's just confirmation that they wanted you uh, to become imbalanced with your moods. This person causing you negativity is an air sign. So we got fire sign and air sign here for some people. Something fell on the floor. We got pyrite. Help shield py help shield you from the harmful effects that technology can have on the mind and the body. Somebody here may need to use pyrite if you're into that. We have causing chaos and fights in your love connection. So this person may not. For some of you guys, this is somebody who felt felt like if I can't have you. I'm hearing, if I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. It's like, if, if they felt like, also what I'm getting here is that if they couldn't have you, then nobody else could have you. If they couldn't be your friend, nobody else is going to be your friend. You're not going to get no love. If you don't show them any kind of respect, they're going to make sure that nobody around you shows you respect. This person may have sent hate tweets out on you or subliminals online um instagram what else can you do that on tiktok i don't know twitter it says yeah petty birds tweet tweet what else we got here root work seek uh seek someone to help you with the protection spell so some of you guys may need to uh, look into protection spells, or like I said before, you know, continue with your protection spells to make sure it, you know, continue until the energy is completely gone is what I'm hearing for somebody here. Like, don't stop whatever you're doing too early. Keep it, keep it going. Somebody here, you may need to take a spiritual bath. Cleansing is needed. Somebody, somebody may have been hating on your body image. Oh, yeah, exercise routine, especially if you've been taking care of yourself. Um, if you started a new regimen, a new routine, somebody was jealous of that. Or somebody just may be jealous of the way you shaped, jealous of the way, jealous of the way you look. Somebody is shoulders. Somebody jealous of somebody. Like, they, somebody got like nice broad shoulders or nice shoulders in general, right? And somebody's jealous of that. <laughs> wow. We got cedar, Fred, uh, fresh woodsy smell cleanse, uh, a new home, fresh woodsy smell, cleanse a new home of its old energies and unwanted spirits while inviting fresh energetic vibes and protecting the new occupants. So somebody here, especially if you move into a new house, new apartment, whatever, make sure that you do a cleansing first. And somebody here just may need to do a cleansing in their house in general. We have own worst enemy. I feel like this person is their own worst enemy because they're bringing unnecessary drama into the situation. They're bringing unnecessary confusion into the situation that did not have to be there. 
they cause most of their own problems okay the most of the bad things that are happening in their life is because of the things that they do or they initiate and i'm getting into this this is somebody who does not take accountability of the things that they do and, and that they put set into motion that their actions set certain things into motion and, and and they don't like to take accountability for it. they like to blame oh this person is doing this to to me this person is sending whatever kind of energy towards me somebody may have been stealing your ideas and pretending they invented them okay we got copycat vibes here so someone here you're very like i said before you're very very creative all right everybody's so creative remember that lady um you you're very very creative and this person may have been stealing your lines i'm getting for somebody lines um stealing your lines stealing your words stealing your ideas even okay stealing your inventions i'm hearing keep somebody who needs to keep something to themselves tell us about this person tell us about this person's personality who are we dealing with here we're dealing with somebody who has an addiction to self-pity they blame everybody for everything in their life this person is always complaining this is somebody who's who's a who's the career victim you know how we have career criminals this is somebody who's a career victim they're always they're always putting themselves in the victim mode somebody's always doing something towards them but at the same time this person harbors a lot of resentment and a lot of anger towards life in general this person always finds themselves in a mix-up they always find themselves in some sort of chaotic uh situation but every time every single time they find themselves in a chaotic situation they're blaming somebody else they're pointing the finger elsewhere it's never their fault it's never their issue it's never something they've done you know what i'm saying it's never because of their actions it's always about somebody else this person does not take accountability and they love crying over things they love crying over the mess that they create and getting i'm getting i'm getting also and also getting sympathy from other people because of it okay getting sympathy because of it this person is a psychic vampire they like using people okay this is somebody who likes draining people you see something we got the poet here i'm telling you somebody's still in somebody's work here somebody was somebody wants to somebody wants to be known for their creativity when they have none that's crazy bro somebody wants to be known for creativity so they watch other people you'll see this person taking a line from this person a line from that person a line from that person you're putting it all together and saying that they were the one that created it or, or passing it off as it was them that created it when it's when it wasn't this person is actually pushing if this person is a reader uh this person is some sort of artist uh, this person calls themselves a light worker, whatever this person calls themselves. This person is pushing negativity out into the world. They're pushing destructive energy out into the universe. Depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining and codependency, like I said before. This is somebody who always complains. Somebody's always out to get them. Somebody's always doing something to them. It, they, the sun is never shining in this person's life. And the reason why they had an issue with you is because the sun is always shining in your life. Even when it's raining, you always bring the sun out or you look for the sun or you embody that sun-like energy until it comes back out. That is something this person does not embody and they don't i'm hearing they don't even care to be that way but they don't like seeing you happy they don't like seeing you um celebrate even if you have certain milestones this is somebody that will hear about your milestones and then start complaining and start feeling some type of way about it and start saying that oh you're bragging about what your accomplishments and, and, and xyz when that is not even the case 
we have places financial gain and control over over imparting spiritual insight yeah this is for, let me tell you something for somebody here and that might not resonate for every single person but for somebody here this is a this is one of those karmic readers okay this person for some of y'all is a karmic reader this is somebody who will do anything for the money tell you anything for the money oh i'm going to tell you everything you want to hear run me them coins or give me those views those subscriptions or whatever you know what i mean those memberships give me all that i'm going to give you whatever you want i'm going to hustle you this is a hustler this person is an ear hustler is what i'm hearing too this person alters this is somebody who alters the facts or they plagiarize other people's work see we're coming back to somebody who steals other people's works somebody here may have written a book and this person stole and created their own book i'm even getting somebody because we're talking about uh before i was talking about somebody could be a reader this could be somebody who steals uh uh car they see somebody using a card deck or whatever and they just steal those cards those ideas or steal names for channels and stuff like that or anything like that you know what i'm saying just re regurgitating if you see somebody repeating something somebody else saying you know that person was not the one that originated you need to really think about following people like that because i got copycat type of energy altering facts this person also um, when they're giving advice to people, they change it around. I'm going to tell you, I'm hearing, I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. So they're not giving you accurate readings. They're giving you sugar-coated readings. This person has no accountability. They don't want to look themselves in the mirror. So you wouldn't be able to go to this person and say, I know you did X, Y, Z, because it will not, it's going to go right over the head. So it's like, don't even waste your time. You you shouldn't even waste your time with somebody like this. Fear of facing their own demons. This person has a fear of facing their own demons. They don't like to take accountability. Yeah, look, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Resist moving on through forgiveness. This is a reader, okay, or somebody who is call considers themselves a psychic or they consider themselves a religious or spiritual authority in their own right okay even out here in the streets it could be somebody who has this kind of you know uh mentality all right they feel like they're they feel like this person feels like they're not doing anything wrong okay but this is somebody who blames their dysfunction on childhood wounds of course they may literally have childhood wounds but I feel like every single thing that they do that is wrong or every single thing, somebody may have been also dealing with some sort of addictions to substances, everything that is <clears throat> done wrong. I'm getting some throat chakra energy here. Everything that is done wrong, they don't want me to tell you this part right here, but everything they've done wrong, they blame it on uh, childhood. But whoever this is, because they don't want me, want me to tell you this, this person is dealing with some sort of... Uh, of substance abuse okay there's somebody dealing with substance hit they hitting it hard whatever they hit mm -hmm. what time is it hold up they are hitting whatever they hitting they hitting it hard okay this person may have started drinking early on in their childhood smoking taking other <clears throat> i'm getting needles okay needles oh oh hold up oh <clears throat> give us some um and this not gonna resonate with everybody i just who is this person? Who is this this person right here that we're talking about? This reader too. Who, who how do we know? It's somebody who's very, very strategic. Okay, they're very, very smart with what they do. We got spirituality. They're in the spirituality. I just shuffled the deck. Damn deck. Damn. Where is it? Anyways, maybe it'll come back a year ago. 
This person comes off very, very spiritual, okay? <clears throat> this person may, people may look at this person as somebody who's very, very attractive or sexy even for some people, okay? But this is somebody who has some sort of appeal about them. They may work on their looks, okay? They may work on their hair, put makeup, if they wear makeup, if it's a man. He's making sure that he's looking good when he comes on the camera. I'm hearing this person actually affects a group of people. This may be somebody who is just curious about life in general. They're curious about other people that comes around them. So they're always looking to see what other people are doing. They could be attached to some sort of sports. They could, could have played sports in school or they participate in some sort of sports or fitness. They have intense look an intense look on their face okay this may be somebody with a bob they may have cut their hair in a bob especially if i'm getting somebody with dyed hair especially if they you know how sometimes people when they bleach their hair they bleach it really 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 light and it has to be cut because they don't damage the hair all their hair up and it gets cut and then they add extensions in it or something like that something weird like that they may um <clears throat> do their nails their nails may stand out I'm getting different people here, getting different people. Somebody may have high cheekbones. Uh, jealousy. We talked about this jealous energy here. Features, shades, somebody. Your person might wear shades. This person is an influencer. I told y'all I'm picking up on another influencer here. Somebody may wear glasses or well, shades sometimes. I'm getting for, ooh, somebody might wear glasses. These are different people here, okay? Somebody may wear glasses, shades, eyewear, okay? Somebody may have had their hair in cornrows before or braids. Somebody may have curly hair. This is a number of, this is different people here, y'all. This is not the same person. These are different people embodying the same type of energy, all right? Somebody may wear have green wear. I was gonna, I was gonna say I meant to say have green eyes, but somebody may wear green contacts or colored contact lenses. Okay, they dress very very trendy. <clears throat> somebody they may wear uh, specific uh, jewelry that stands out. Okay, somebody may like to cosplay. Or they may look like they cosplay. Or they, wow. Oh, I just heard, yeah, somebody may cosplay a different race to look like a different race, okay? Especially with these contact lenses. Somebody may cosplay and they, to look like another race than what they really truly are, you feel me? Uh, or we got somebody that likes, that likes to cosplay in general. They may like anime. They may have some costumes that they wear or it's in their aesthetic, okay? Or they've referenced, um, they've referenced, what do you call it? <clears throat> Anime before. This could be someone who is, who presents themselves like they are of the law and that they are doing the right thing and, is, and that they are of justice. But this person has a lot of negative satanic energy. This person is very, very pessimistic is what I'm getting here. A student, okay, this person is also somebody who's learning, all right, or they need to be learning, all right? I feel like that is how they find themselves on different people's pages, on different platforms, in different people's business, stealing information, stealing ideas, stealing things from them, okay? Somebody could have locks, they could like, they could know how to cook or like cooking. Somebody could have wavy hair. I'm gonna get some cities. Let's get some cities going on here too. Medical, somebody could be in the medical field. Oh, let's go ahead and get some cities popping here. Well, I don't know, something about these contact lenses is standing out for somebody. Hell, it could be standing out 
for uh, somebody that's sending energy towards me. Um, <clears throat> Let's get some cities here. What cities? What energy? Give me uh, cities here. Miami, Florida. So you or this person could be tied to Miami, Florida, or that's been it. Or that means something to you, okay? You are that person could be tied to Maui, Hawaii, or be could be from Hawaii, or has some sort of lineage with Hawaii, some sort of uh, uh, oh, I was going ancestry in Florida or something like that could be from Florida. Somebody could be Haitian, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Somebody could be Puerto Rican. So we're gonna have Puerto Rican ancestry here uh, by way of Hawaii, because I don't know if you guys know this, but back in the way, way, way back in the days, a lot of a lot of people came from Puerto Rico to Hawaii. So you have that element, that um, culture that is in Hawaii too. Puerto Rican culture is in Hawaii as well. Okay, we got Baltimore, Maryland. We got Rome, Italy. And that's what I don't know. I don't know why I, I, I was was meant to say this about Hawaii in general, because I feel like some people feel like uh, Hawaii in general is just one group of people. You know what I mean? Like that live in live in the Hawaiian Islands. But no, it's a lot of it's a, like a melting pot. So you find people there that are like mixed with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know what I'm saying? That are mixed with different things because of the people that came there. You know what I mean? You got Portuguese that came to Hawaii. We have Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Filipino, you know what I mean? And then, and then you have your uh, Samoans. We, ha we even have some Fiji uh, Fijians. You have uh, Micronesians. We have Tongan, Hawaiian, yes. You know what I mean? There's a lot of different people there. So um, there's a mixture there. I don't know who needed to hear that. We got Newark, New Jersey in the building. Beijing, China. New Orleans, Louisiana. Toronto, Canada. Moscow, Russia. Little Rock, Arkansas. Seattle, Washington. Corn Island, Nicaragua. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, Kumasi, Ghana. Why does Ghana keep coming out, bro? Who's from Ghana here? Ghana just keeps coming out. We got what uh, Accra the other day. Now we got Kumasi. Nicaragua keeps coming out as well. Puerto Rico keeps coming out. Maui keeps coming out. Uh, New did New Jersey come out last time. I don't know New Orleans. I don't know Haiti keeps coming out as well. <clears throat> Sacpasse. Guatemala. And Homa, Louisiana, Denver, Colorado, Essex, United Kingdom. Somebody who could be from the UK and Singapore. Okay. And we got Hanoi, Vietnam. All right. These are the places that we have here. Comment down if any of these relate um, or resonate with you. Where is the rubber band? Let's get another one. Where the rubber band? Oh, here it goes. Yeah. I would find it after I got some more. All right. Let's see. How will you know who these people are? What kind of karma are these people having? How will you know? who this is. Uh, 
a dearest and precious dream being crushed to pieces so somebody here these people are gonna have a dearest precious a dream that they hold close to their heart being crushed to pieces they're gonna be taken completely out of the game whatever that means hey ain't got nothing to do with me you feel me ain't got nothing to do with me the next life will be filled with poverty and strife wow see you messing stuff up you do I'm getting somebody feel like they're sitting on high on the hog in this lifetime is so they don't know that it may be affecting another one or it may be affecting a new cycle. Okay, is what I'm getting. A new cycle that is starting for these people. Filled with poverty and strife. What else we got here? Hmm. They'll be watching you. Part of the karma is watching you prosper in your career. What else we got here? Losing respect from family and friends. Those close to them suffering from their karma too. So it's like, just be, their karma is not only going to affect them, but other people may be affected as well that's around them suffering stress related body changes i feel like they and this is a thing bro when we're talking about karma they wanted all this stuff to happen to you they wanted your, your they wanted your family to suffer you feel me from their spell work and that's why theirs the people that are closest to them are going to be suffering too okay they wanted you to lose respect from your friends and your family they wanted i'm hearing they wanted some sort of scandal to come out about you or they wanted you to disappoint people around you. They wanted them to, to lose faith in you. But that's going to happen to them. They wanted you to see them rising. Okay. But that's not going to be happening here. All their tea spills. See what I'm talking about? Some sort of scandal here. They wanted, they wanted you caught up in some sort of scandal. But they're going to be caught up in this scandal. Undesirable weight loss or gain. They may have wanted you to have some sort of weight issues. Whether it's losing too much weight or whether it is gaining too much weight and this person is gonna have that happen to them. If you triggered, vibe with your own tribe, okay? If you triggered, vibe with your own tribe. Becoming impotent and lacking sexual passion. So this person may have wanted that for you so that it's gonna be happening to them. Abundance, trans, for instance, we have somebody here who may have tried to destiny swap with you, siphon off of your abundance, siphon off your energy, siphon off the good stuff that was coming to you. They may have succeeded in some way, fashion or form, but it's all coming back to you. And is and I'm getting what they took from you will be returned and then some. OK, we also have ugly truths and deep, dark secrets being exposed. They may have been trying to fact dig on you, dirt dig on you. To try to find something to use against you to i'm telling you some sort of scandal this person wanted you humiliated but in return they're good they're the ones who are going to be humiliated yeah they wanted you knocked off your self-imposed and pet pedestal but they're the ones going to be knocked off their pedestal and they may have fertility issues okay and i'm getting also issues with manifesting manifestation issues creating things okay being arrested and booked. Somebody may be arrested and booked. I'm gonna get ready to close this out. Wow. <laughs> wow, can't make this stuff up, bro. Yeah, it's time for me to wrap this up. Somebody is gonna get expedited karma, okay? expedited karma is coming for somebody expedited it's speeding up it's like you know what look it's time for you to get with yours you don't know how long this person has been doing this or these people have been doing this your advice is to listen to the voice when it persists listen to the voice within when it persists so follow your own guidance follow your own intuition Follow the spiritual nudges is what I'm getting for some people here. True love can never really be lost. So as somebody, if you had true love taken away from you, you that may be being replaced or you're, you're, or you're being told that it is not over in some way, fashion or form. Somebody needs to go within. OK, go within and stay alone. If the world around you seems turbulent, stop. Somebody needs to go within and 
to balance yourself out or take some time alone to yourself is what I'm getting here. Take some time alone to yourself. Yeah, I'm hearing I'm hearing because we got shocked. They were shocked by your talents, your skills and your abilities because you don't look like uh, what you've been through. And then we got overeating. See that that's that 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 um, that weight loss, weight gain type of issue. OK, some of you guys may have suffered from this, but you'll be getting this under control as his energy dissipates. I'm hearing keep up with your protection and cleansing. Cleansing, cleansing, cleansing is going to be very, very important right now. I'm going to keep up, keep up with your cleansing uh, rituals. And yeah, uh, pay attention to your dreams, the signs and synchronicities that are around you. And just keep to keep being the, being the best that you can be. You feel me? Keep living your best life. Okay. Thank y'all so much for being here. I want to thank everybody for liking the video, subscribing to the channel and commenting as well. Thank y'all so much. I'll see you guys next time. Okay. I'll take care. Ciao. Mm -hmm.